Seriously, guys, what is this? What is all over this dresser? Who did this to this dresser? I don't know, but today I'm on a mission to try to fix it. Hello, my furniture fans. Today I'm flipping this $30 dresser that we picked up from an estate sale. I've got a really exciting flip in store for you guys today. I'm diving head first into the latest trends in paint colors on this crazy painted dresser to see if we can turn this lemon into some lemonade. I'll be exploring the hottest fall paint color trends and we will transform this so anybody would love to have it in their home. From first glance, I can tell that this dresser is solid wood. It's in really good shape. All the drawers were put together. No fixes will need to be done there. The only issue is this paint. I have no idea what the original owner decided to do to this. It's a bunch of paint colors mixed together and just sort of brushed over the top. You can still see some of the raw wood underneath and some places you can't. It's got the original handle still intact. All the drawers look great and the maker's mark. So this should be a fun flip, but I gotta figure out what to do with this crazy paint job. First things first, it needs a really good clean. I am using my standby Simple Green to help degrease and get any gunk off of this guy before we can continue. I'm using a bucket of warm water and just a good bath just to get off any grease and grime, fingerprints, and all that dusty stuff that has to come off before I can start to paint. Next, I'll remove the handles and clean really well underneath where they were. Normally, I remove all the data details and put on some updated hardware, but in this case, I think these handles are gonna be great for the refinish that I have in mind. Now it's time to take this all apart and make sure that I've cleaned the inside really well. You never know what's lurking inside of these old dressers. I haven't found anything too fun yet. Just some underwear and, yep, socks. Those are the normal things I find in the dressers. But I'm going to give these drawers a really good clean while I have these out as well. I used my three x four surf prep sander to scuff sand this entire dresser. I'm using a technique today that requires this dresser to be completely smooth. I don't need to remove all of the finish on this. I just need it to look smooth so that when I apply the new paint, you can't see any divots in the top or the sides. So I'm going to attempt to get off as much of this old paint as I can before I apply the primer. Okay, so I have cleaned, I have scuff sanded, and I have gotten some of the weird paint stains off. But there's still so much color and different texture on this dresser that I think that the best thing for me to do right now is to take a step back. I'm gonna prime this and then see what I need to repair. Normally I'd repair everything before I primed but I can't see it all. And because of the finish that I'm gonna do on this, I really need to see the imperfections. So I'm gonna do just a little step backwards this time. I'm gonna prime first, and then I'll find all the spots that I need to repair because they should show up really loudly once I prime. All the products that I use today will be linked in the video description below. So if you wanna know what primer I'm using, information about my spray gun, you can find all of that stuff down below in the video links. Now that I've got everything sanded down smooth, it's time to figure out where I need to patch everything. Um, I <laughs> left all my wood fill out in the garage this summer. It has been 110 degrees for the last, I don't know, two months here in Dallas. It's been intense and really hard to get out in the garage, but I made the mistake of leaving all my wood fill out here, and so it's just a mess. I have thrown away, I think, three of these today. This is what it looks like when you leave it out here. I don't think there's any rescuing this one. 
So I'm gonna have to trash this one as well, but luckily I made a little stop at Sherwin-Williams this morning, so we're going to use some Minwax Color Changing Wood Fill. I do really like this one because it'll go from pink to brown when it's ready uh, to be sanded, so it tells me when it's time for me to go ahead and sand this down, which is nice. My primer is dry. It is time to do a little scuff sand on the top to knock down any bits and bumps, any drips that would have come off of the primer. I'm going to do a really high gloss finish on this one. So everything shows underneath a high gloss finish. I've got to be really good at sanding this down and making sure everything is super smooth before I start. So I am using a medium grit sanding pad. It is spongy and it covers a wide surface, so it should be able just to go over this and get down any lumps and bumps so that my paint goes on perfectly. Before we dive deeper into today's flip, I wanna take a moment to share our sponsor, Proven Skincare. As a 40-something mom, my skincare needs, they've changed, and that's why I'm so glad to have found Proven. Life can be hectic, but taking care of my skin, it's essential. It's as easy as taking a three-minute quiz about my age, environment, skin type, and concerns. Proven looks at the full picture and not just your skin type and provides you with a clinically effective, customized kit made just for you. Proven simplifies skincare with just three products night cream, SPF daytime moisturizer, and a personalized cleanser. My skin feels hydrated, glowing, and my fine lines, they've seen a major reduction in just a few weeks. Hold up, Proven has extended an exclusive discount just for my viewers, you guys. Click that link in my description box below and use code LEMONS99 to get your first personalized Proven system for 50% off the retail price. That's right, half off. So just visit that link below and go grab your personalized proven kit today. I guarantee you are going to love your results. So I'm mixing it up today a bit on my channel. I'm using something that is completely new to me and this is Benjamin Moore's Advance and it's in the color October Mist, which is one of their colors of the year, I think for 2022. The difference is I've got it in a high gloss sheen. So this is going to be really fun to see what it turns out like on this piece of furniture. I've loaded this into my gravity fed HVLP spray gun. It doesn't look like I'm gonna need to water this down to get it to go through nicely. High gloss is definitely in style in my Dallas area. It's gonna have a big moment in fall, so I thought let's jump in now with both feet and see how it goes. shiny paint is what the finish looks like at the end. The bad thing about a high gloss paint is it has 14 hours between recoat times. Yes, you've heard me right, 14 hours. So I have an entire day until I can recoat this thing. So I'm gonna go out, run some mom errands, shoot some stuff for Instagram, and revisit this tomorrow morning. While I'm waiting for that dresser to dry, I'll get the hardware prepped. I made a vinegar bath and let this boil on the stove for just a little bit. I tossed my hardware in and this will help loosen up the paint that's been applied to these handles and hopefully bring back some of that original finish. Once they've cooled down, I'll use the wire bristle brush and a little bit of Barkeeper's Friend to help loosen up any of that remaining gunk. I love the side-by-side -side comparison on these guys and what I found underneath was absolutely gorgeous. I'm really glad I decided to keep these. I let the paint dry overnight and now it's time for coat number two. This only took two coats for full coverage.
dresser's dried enough that I can touch it or bring the drawers out a little bit. So I brought the drawers out and I'm going to just finish painting the edges where the spray paint didn't quite reach when I was spraying it. So it's just a little bit that's left over that I need to paint. And this paint is self-leveling, so it should blend right in as soon as it's dry. popping back in just to say thank you so much to my patreon subscribers and my youtube superstars who are paying for membership and behind the scenes things uh we just have so much fun over on patreon discussing what's in my garage what's selling what i see trending in my area how i sell on facebook and all the ins and outs of being a furniture flipper if you all are interested in joining us we would love to have you i've got my patreon link down below you can join and read all of the old posts that we've already chit chatted and shared lots of trade secrets about i would love to have you there and it's just more of an insider community and to get some more direct access and one-on-one -on -one time to somebody who actually does this for a living. So if you wanna join us, find that link below and I'll see you over there. The original hardware polished up perfectly, so I'm just using it as is. There was no need for a touch up on these. They turned out gorgeous. And let's have one last sneak peek at where we started with this crazy painted dresser before we get to our after. What did you all think of today's flip? What do you think of this glossy furniture craze? Is this something that you're gonna put in your own home? Is it just something that you're enjoying seeing out there on Instagram and YouTube and all the things? I really like it. I think it looks beautiful and upscale. It's definitely something that I would put in my own home, so I can see why it sells pretty quickly for me, especially in Texas. So you all will have to let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. At least I can say this. I saved that piece from whatever it had going on previously, and I personally think it looks better. I don't know what all that paint was on it in the beginning, but it definitely got an upgrade in my opinion. Thank you guys so much for being here. As always, I love and appreciate your support. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I would love to keep you around. Let me know you're visiting me in the comments down below, and I'll see you next time on Lemons to Lemonade Furniture. Mm -hmm.